On December 30th, a considerable Russian military force, consisting of around 400 infantry and a dozen armored vehicles and tanks, initiated an offensive against the area encompassing Avdivka, a strategic stronghold of the Ukrainians situated in eastern Ukraine, precisely northwest of Donetsk. The 110th Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces fortified the garrison, to which the 47th and 57th Brigades were subsequently added to make it more formidable for the Ukrainians and more challenging for the advancing Russian forces. As documented by aerial drone footage, the Ukrainian forces engaged and destroyed a convoy of three Russian MTLB multi-purpose armored vehicles in the Avdivka region, in the vicinity of Stepov, with the assistance of Bradley and other Western-supplied armaments. Within a day or so, the Ukrainian 110th Brigade decimated the foremost Russian contingent moving forward. Reportedly, the formation comprised over 400 individuals and dozens of tanks and combat vehicles, constituting a reinforced battalion. Their remarkable training and determination were evident in their exceptional strategy and coordination, which led to this remarkable achievement. It is apparent that the Ukrainians achieved victory. The Ukrainian personnel strategically positioned minefields along potential routes that linked the Russian lines and Stepov by infiltrating covertly during the night. Among the perpetrators, a Ukrainian drone even targeted a BTR combat vehicle laden with ammunition. Initial assessments indicated that over 50% of the Russian force encountered difficulties in re-establishing its original positions. The ongoing count of Russian casualties according to open-source intelligence analyst Andrew Perpetua, appears to back up the catastrophe. On Monday, 21 Russian tanks, 14 infantry combat vehicles, and one armored personnel carrier were verified to have been destroyed by Perpetua. Moreover, he recorded the casualties of a substantial number of Russian personnel, as well as several artillery pieces. Given the current rates of vehicle production, the Russian military detachment stationed in Ukraine has the capacity to maintain its inventory of approximately 3,000 tanks, despite a monthly loss of only 50 tanks. The regiments and brigades that stormed Avdivka destroyed nearly half of that number in a single day, putting a tremendous strain on the Russian armed forces. This week, the Ukrainians retaliated against the attack. Stepov may have been emancipated with possible success. At a minimum, neither party exercises authority over the village. Moreover, through their retreat, the Ukrainian forces provoked an impulsive counteroffensive, and the Russians ultimately suffered a catastrophic blowback. Ukrainian forces maintain positions along the eastern shore of the Kherson District River. As per a Russian blogger, Ukrainian forces continue to transfer reinforcements to the eastern bank of the Dnieper. As every party prepares themselves for further escalation, the ambiance becomes progressively more agitated. A minimum of 16 individuals have sustained injuries due to a missile barrage that impacted the capital city of Ukraine in the early hours of this morning.